We can't run in any closer unless you want to try through the reef. All right. in an isolated beach. There it is. Little Harbor. Catalina Island. Pacific side. On a clear day you can see Formosa. Well, it's been grand. Play. Well, she thinks she'll find them there anyway. Who's <laughs> <laughs> there to be found that isn't already lost? <laughs> it's about an hour into Avalon, 15 minutes to get these things refilled, and an hour back. It's 11 now, I might as well grab lunch while I'm in town, I'll be back about 2. You want those blue lobsters we spotted this morning? You better be back before then. You know, they're deep enough now and the plug's out. Well, there's another low tide tomorrow. Not for this city boy. You know your trouble? No soul. Stout Cortez with eagle eyes stared at the Pacific. And all his men looked at each other with a wild surmise. Silent upon a peak in Darien. And then do you know what he said? Who? Cortez. You've seen one wave, you've seen them all. Some girls have to walk home, but, um, well, whoever you are, welcome ashore. What's a sommier? Where do you go? Isn't there any place where Friday hasn't put his big, fat footprint? I was, uh, about to cook some bass. Interesting? For a boat. I'll drop my own money. A sommelier is a wine steward. Oh, you mean one of those guys with the chain and the, uh, and the, uh, fancy suit and the gold hook screw? That's right. You know, one of these days, I'm going to say, sorry, old chap, you know, it's just like vinegar. Take it back to the cellar and give us some 53, a good deal for calls. You can't around here? Yeah. Good grand. Hey, I know why you came ashore. Got cabin fever. You want to bust out? You married? I came ashore to rehabilitate the natives. Don't you know everybody's married? Everybody except the people that ought to be. Hey, you want a towel? 
What's the sun for? from the frying pan into the fire. Why don't you give the fish a gun? Even up the eyes. I'm too tough to cook. Well, why don't you try it off the shark net in Panama City? I don't think the message in your bottle. All 
all the sad young women of the world, all writing history books, their own, about how their beautiful white swans turned into geese and flew south. Well, what do you know? How does that go? Uh, an eye isn't an eye because you see it. It's an eye because it sees you. To you, I. Armistice? Who's it for? I cut my barbed wire today. Aren't you going to ask me why? No. No? Well, I'm looking for a sea on which no sail has ever been raised. A beach in which old Robinson can't check on Wednesday's child, me. So I find a piece of nowhere and I wait a show as bright as Balboa and it's already subdivided. You're here. You know, as I was swimming into shore today, I said to myself, no bongo, no people, just time, clean and empty. Time to walk alone, time to bake in the sun, time to turn nothing, you know, into something, even for a few hours. Okay. It's a big island, so um, walk, bake. You take the north, and I'll take the south. Mason-Dixon line, okay? Thanks. I'll save you some uh, fish.
This is south, not north. It's the usual compass trouble. It's the story of my life. I slipped. <laughs> Your ankle is swollen. I think that's what's trapping it in there. Well, ankle, stop swelling. Look, I better go back to the lean-to and see if I can't get some um, fat grease or something. I can put it on your ankle. Maybe I can slide it out. It's broken, isn't it? I can't tell. When I slipped, I, I dropped my bottle of champagne. I don't think we'll worry about that right now. Winter. There's a ledge or something right here. See, you just slip your foot right past it. Can you feel any barnacles or anything under there? No, just feels numb. I guess I better get an iron and see if I can't chip some of that away. Uh, I'd like you to know that that troublesome anchor wedged in the Rock of Ages was once considered by experts in the matter as one of the trimmest ankles ever seen. Look, I'll be right back. Oh, if I want to call you, what do I call you? Buzz. What are you looking at your watch for? Oh, I was just wondering about the fish. I guess it's probably time to turn it. Well, that's the high water mark, isn't it? Yeah, so? So, when's high tide? Why? Forest. Be right back.
had the car. Could improvise some kind of a winch with the wheel. All we need is an inch. We could get your foot free from there if I could only get a hold of my buddy. Well, who's your buddy? He's over in Avalon. Don't get him. I'll wait. I promise. I wonder if there's a phone around here somewhere. Yeah, why don't you call Maxine? Tell him it's Malola and ask him to give her the secrets to the Talbot song. Listen, you. I'm going on the assumption that your life is worth something. Now, if you don't want it, you can throw it away somewhere else after I let you loose, but not in front of me. So until then, knock off all the lousy wisecracks. Look, maybe we don't have any champagne, but there's a bottle of something over there. I'll get it for you. I don't want any now. place around to grab some lunch? Yeah, uh, there's a little bar around the corner just off Crescent Avenue. Serves a great barbecue beef. Thanks. Can I leave these here a while? Sure can. Thank you.
Charlie be back in a few minutes. I'd go over to the school and see Lauren's English teacher. Lauren's his kid, sixth grade, but he can't spell yet. Oh, he's bright enough. He knows all about retro rockets and orbital flights, but he just can't spell, you know? It's the way they teach now. Sight, technique, and memory reading versus the old phonetic system. Now, when I was in school, it was all phonetics, the only way. How about if I fix your drink while you're waiting? No rush. I'll try you, old man. As a matter of fact, anybody who favors the phonetic system, they'll insist you have a drink on the house. Now, what'll it be? Well, let's see. Uh, martini on the rocks. Right up.
Please. Number, please. I'm getting a permanent signal on the Isthmus toll line, Frank. Maintenance is out at Pebbly Beach now. Will you give them this report as soon as possible? I 
I never was very strong. Honest, I never was very strong. Hold me, Buzz. Please hold me. Todd, where are you? Where's anybody? I just can't sit here and do nothing. You understand that, don't you? Well, in, in Rome, it's tomorrow already. The same sky, but tomorrow. Paula, just keep looking at the sky, huh?
I don't think there's anything broken, but uh, we'll head back to the mainland and have it x-rayed. Well. In that case, I'd say first, stay away from those rocks. Second. Interesting looking as he is, you'd be bored with him within 24 hours. So in the event that you do get bored faster than I anticipate, remember this, uh, this will be by sea and this will be by land. I told you how it was with me, just one wave after another. Same old pattern over and over again. There I am. There I always am. I lost you a long time ago. Let's go.
has been a Screen Gems film presentation from Columbia Pictures. Herbert B. Leonard, executive producer. <laughs>